Starting things off, y'all. It's a sad day. It's a Sunday, which means Chick-fil-A is closed. So we're over here at Mickey D's. Devin is <laughs> ran inside. We got the John boat right behind us, you guys. It is gonna be Devin's first time on the John boat, and we're gonna be throwing a big old expensive swim bait at a spot we could snag and lose it. So I think you guys are in for a treat on this one, as well as some new Mystery Tackle Box lures. Thank you to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's episode. We're thinking some sausage, egg, and cheese, and iced coffees. I don't know how y'all are feeling. Let me know your usual order down in the comment section. And uh, then we're going to get out on the water. We're going to try and catch some fish today. We might meet up with Pond Boys. It sounds like he is uh, ready to fish, ready to rip some lips, wet a line, tight lines, whatever people say these days, really. So that's my bad, sir. I'm actually, I'm actually sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. I figured he probably knew when he rolled up on me and I was stopped for 30 seconds, but that's, you know. Next stop is the lake, you guys. Breaking out the John boat. A little windy today, so hopefully everything works out well. We do not have spot lock again on this thing. It's one of the first few times we've still even taken the boat out. And we hope to catch the John boat's PB today for on these big baits. So I think the biggest fish that has landed inside of this John boat since we've acquired it is probably two and a half to three pounds. So if we can catch a four or a five, lights out. New John boat PB, that is what we're going for, y'all. We'll see you at the water. <laughs> what do you think about the first time launching it? I'd say that if we haven't had a boat in kayaks for a little while now, we'd probably be like sketched the f out. Yeah, this is, it's wobbly. Yeah, I mean, now it's just like, okay, if it falls off the trailer, it kind of goes, I mean, it is what it is. You just one step at a time. Uh, a new experience though. I'm excited to get out on it. <laughs> She doesn't even know what she's been missing, y'all. Look at the John boat. We've gone out with Ryan and Torrance one time, and now it is her first time on the boat. Okay. We might try and catch a couple fish before we break out the creme de la creme, the brand new swim bait that we are pumped to show you guys. It's by 86 Baits. Uh, they do very limited runs of exclusive and, uh, and well, pretty dang expensive swim baits. And we're gonna break that new thing out here in just a bit. But first, let's get these GoPros rolling. Let's try and get a couple fish in the boat, see if we can break the John Boat's PB, get the motor set up, you know, the whole thing. Quick release for the trolling motor to get plugged into the battery, guys. Now it should work. We're moving. So if I, so this is three, which is like the best for all around, right? Yeah. And then this is four, and five is like a whole nother level. Five is like, five actually gets going, like the kayaks or the boat will. And since there's no motor on the back, it does like, it'll go sideways and stuff since there's nothing like as a rudder almost well it'd probably be easier to work that bank because of the wind so if you step on it when it's on five you got to be careful because it's like a lot of power right at once Ooh, that was a bike you see him running with it little guy <laughs> little guy golly first one in the boat i was hoping you'd beat me to the first one she's throwing a swim jig i'm throwing the swim bait on an underspin but i'm probably gonna switch it up to a crankbait here in a minute Oh, wait, I must be really little. Because oh, wow. <laughs> like, I set the hook and, and I didn't even feel anything. I didn't even feel anything when I set the hook. That's funny. That was ridiculous. Boat, <laughs> Feisty. We're going to have to find the big ones now. All right, first one in the John boat for me. Bye, tight. Ooh. He had it. Interesting. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, fish! Oh, okay. Wow! Off the deep in the trees. What do you have? Flip them! Flip them! Flip them! Get them in here! Woo! That might, be, <laughs> that might be the biggest one in the jaws so far. Dang! <laughs> first cast. Literally, first cast. No way. <laughs> No way. God dang. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. First cast for the Texas rig. I think she just caught the new John Boat PB. No. Look at that tight. Woo. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> First cast natural crack and crawl Texas rig right here in the trees. Okay. Well, I think I might be throwing something in the wrong direction. Dang. I don't even want to tie on a Texas rig, man. I'm going to have to take off the saucy swimmer or something. Not cool. He was really fighting. I thought he might have had you in the trees there, I like like so around too. I was one. Scared. I thought I was scared for a hot minute. <laughs> 
I was like, I don't know if I'm pulling him or if he's pulling me back. Is that the go-to rod or the muscle? Uh, it's the, I think it's the go-to. The go-to. Okay, yeah. so a little less strength on that one too, and you still ripped him. Heck yes. Hey, will you go ahead and spot lock it for a second? Yeah. Um. Problem is it doesn't have spot lock. Went ahead and changed things up because the moving bite was just not quite on. First cast with a Texas rig and was able to bring in this little lunk. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the scale because Weston says it might be the John Boat's new PB, which would be pretty cool because that's my second fish in the John Boat. First day out on it, first cast with that Texas rig. Really pretty fish. Got something definitely going on uh, food wise in its belly. <laughs> for sure. It just ate a couple other crawls before it had the cracking Thanks. crawl. <laughs> now, don't 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 make it easy on her. I do feel like she might need a little extra weight on that bass to get the John yeah. Boat's PB. But you know, if it goes for four, which ah, I'm oh, thinking it's, it's I'm thinking it's under three. Maybe. I'm thinking it's under three. <laughs> did you turn it on? It did. Yeah, it's it's holding at two pounds ten ounces. So uh, I think who Torrance? Yeah. Torrance has probably got me beat. Pond Boy still holds the John Boat PB record for the moment, but hold on, now that the Texas rig is out, she might just link up with something giant for you guys. Let's get this fish back in the water, y'all. What a catch. All right, let's go ahead and get the release, try and get after some more. Oh, good one, good one. Yep, good one. Don't get in the motor. Don't get in the motor. That's actually a decent one. Nice. <laughs> That's the John Boat PV right there. Dang, it was right under the boat. Holy cow. I think that's that might do it right there. It's pretty dang fat, y'all. Let's get this guy on the scale. That happened so quick. Felt a little bump. I was kind of popping over some twigs, so I was just making sure I had a fish on there before I jammed the hook set. And uh, wouldn't you know, holy smokes. Oh man, he's only like three flat. Okay, it's holding at 215, so he's a straight three, basically a straight three pounder, yeah. I, you know, what was I gonna say? <laughs> the mouth, yeah, it did look bigger in the water for sure. I was thinking it could have been a four in the water, but you know, after getting him out of here, that's all right, that's all right. Texas rig's getting it done, natural crack and crawls. Get a little selfie with Devin, and then we're gonna put him back in the water. We need to get a live well for this thing. <laughs> We need an aerator back here, y'all, top five. Well, I'm gonna try and teach you guys a lesson on today's video. So we're in the trees and my line is a little frayed right here, okay? So Devin just retied. She caught another fish and didn't break off. We're gonna run a little science experiment and show you guys why it is valuable to retie. I'm gonna try and catch another fish and if something bad happens, you'll realize it's because I did not retie. So let's, uh, let's, let's run the experiment. We're catching them in these trees, man. They're down here. I think they're just stacked. There could be a hundred bass right here. You gotta find those patterns and just run with it. They were slow on the crankbait and even the swim bait today. The moving bite's been pretty hot, but there was a storm the other day. Today, the clouds are actually just rolling in. It was completely like bluebird when we first launched. So maybe the reaction bite will start picking up, but I think at the very moment, the bottom bite, specifically in this depth that they're liking, and instead of in the shallows, like we might normally hit here, is, uh, is very good. Oh, oh, do you have it? <laughs> Net? <laughs> and that would probably not be not, a bad not idea. Fish, I'm just saying, <laughs> general, like, here. Another healthy fish. This dude's got a scar on him. Oh, oh. You better set that up. I, <laughs> I knew he was teensy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, little tyke. And now we'll just drift down a little bit further from those. That'll be. <laughs> he was swimming with it for a minute too. That's another good one. It's not like huge, but. Oh, oh. That's another good one, y'all. This one might even go bigger than that last one. It's pretty plump. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Texas rig crack and crawl right off this little island, man. They're liking the tree stumps and a set depth, like a fairly shallow depth. That's what we're kind of keying in on. We hit some deeper trees and they didn't seem to like it as much. Oh wow, that's probably bigger than that last one. But since I don't think it's gonna go for four, I'm not gonna put this one on the scale. We're really searching for a big one today, you guys. We're gonna break out that big swim bait here soon, but the T-Rigs are absolutely crushing it. That's a solid fish right there, guys. Peace out.
Mama Goose is eyeballing us. We better give her some space. Oh, got him. First one on the crank out here by the trees. Nice. There we go. There we go. Reaction rod letting me fight him out on these treble hooks. Looks like you might want to take me into the motor. Not today, kid. We're going to get him back in the water. And I think we might be able to crank them. They might be suspended a little bit higher. Yeah, so on those square bills, y'all, they're floating, but they dive down because of that bill. So it's just a steady retrieve. But the idea is this bait is almost like this in the water, just a wiggling. And that bill should hide those treble hooks from most of the cover, and it's going to deflect off of it. So you kind of hit those trees, and then you almost want to, like, pause it. You hit something, make a little noise and vibration in the water, then you pause it. A lot of times you'll get strikes. I'm just kind of working it through there nice and easy. And anytime you deflect off cover, there's a good chance you're going to get a bite right afterwards. But, yeah, those treble hooks, the idea is they're not going to get caught on as much stuff when you're working through trees trees and rock because that bill kind of hits it and deflects off of it the whole point of these things so thing had it for 20 seconds <laughs> i was like oh no grass or tree grass or tree bigger i need bigger options options Nope. <laughs> Another one. All right, y'all. Today's been absolutely insane. A quick message from today's sponsor, and then we are breaking out the 86 baits. This is our brand new diving. I think shell cracker is the color. Shad representation. Wait till you guys see this thing. Hold tight. Mystery tackle box. If you guys want to try out this service and get your first one, you can grab it for as low as 10 bucks. Only through the link in the description. Use code Weston at checkout. They send you new baits every single month. In fact, some of the stuff is what we've been using today to tear them up on. You got a crankbait in this month's box. We also have got a clickbait or a bladed jig. Fantastic for working through this grass. It'd be getting just as many hits if we had one rigged up. This thing right here will tear them up. You got a top water popper. We actually just caught a fish on a popper from the last MTB box. We've also got some hooks in this month's box just so you can try out some new styles of hooks to go with all your favorite soft plastics. Looks like it equates to easily $40 worth of baits and again you can try your first one for as low as $10. We've got some soft plastic Lake Fork trophy lures. It says ultimate live action swim bait so what it's recommending is a weighted belly hook. Then we have some smaller looking like creature or beaver baits right here. 3 inch little otters they call it by gambler lures and to close things out you guys one of our favorite brands 10,000 fish shimmer shads these things are going to be perfect as a fluke or rigged as a drop shot today has been so fantastic they've been hitting some of the moving baits in a mixture with the t-rigs and that is why we want to break out the 86 baits swim bait we just received in the mail yesterday they just do limited runs this bait is already sold out I believe the price for this bait was like $185 when it was all said and done with the shipping. So not a cheap bait, but you guys know Devin and I are starting to get that swim bait itch and break into this new addiction. We have some heavy gear that we're gonna throw this guy on today. We've never owned one of these 86 baits. The finish out is absolutely stellar. The fins, soft plastic here, tack sharp treble hooks. It looks like we've got 360 degree spinning treble hooks. I mean, when you're talking about a bait in this price point, you definitely want to maximize that bass catching potential, and this thing has got you covered. Now, it has this smaller bill right here, so we're going to see how this thing works firsthand. We're going to tie it up on a Palomar knot on the heavy swim bait rod right here, you guys. You already know the deal. The Tranks 200. We've got some aftermarket DRT handles and knobs. Uh, they're very hard to acquire, but if you can find them on eBay, go ahead and get you a set. It might be like a 7-inch bait, and I put it on a scale yesterday, and I think it comes in at like 2.5 to 3 ounces. So this color is representative of some of those shad that you see in the lakes. It looks almost like a crappie color in the slightest it's got a hint at the bluegill every bass in here is going to see this as a delectable treat and trust me they're eating bait this size every single day so don't be afraid to break out the big baits y'all and with that let's try and catch one on it not right Ow, ow. Oh, treble hooks are real sharp on these things. All right, now we got that clip on there. That might just be exactly what this bait needs to get the maximum action here. I know they're over here. I just don't know if this thing's kind of getting down deep enough. Well, I don't know. I know the Texas rig and the saucy swimmer is going to do good. Got him. Yeah, guys, they're just hanging out a little bit lower. That was on a different color, y'all. We ran out of the naturals, so I'm throwing a blue baby. First fish on it, but that was the second bite. As soon as I switched over to that crack and crawl, I got a hit. I don't know, it might be a little. 
not terrible. <laughs> Ooh, he was kind of swimming ass there for a second too. These fish are grabbing the baits and then swimming out deep and you got to crank on them quick. Otherwise they'll get away from you. You don't want slack in the line or when they shake, they'll get away. And that would have been a double up, but I just put my fish back. Devin seems to be on. Cranking. Ooh, little flash. That's not good, <laughs> right? <laughs> I didn't grab a line. Don't look at all my line. There we go. Jesus. The wind's picked up a little bit since we got here. This was calm and like just out there had a little bit of rippling, but now it's changed up. There you go. Yo! That's a tiny one. T rigging off the rock. Well, we picked up Pond Boys. He's on the boat board, but there's no motor. So we're going to see if this 45 pound thrust can take us into the winds and get us to a little pocket where it's a little bit more calm. Look, good fish right there in those trees. Here you go. Anytime. <laughs> I mean, this thing looks pretty freaking good. Oh, got a fish. Got a fish. Oh, no. Dang it. I almost like gave it slack though, thinking I got hooked on that tree. I screwed that up. That could have been a giant. That might have been the opportunity right there. I figured I might have got a handful on this thing today. Nope. This is one of those baits you gotta swim for if you uh, if it comes down to it. For just about 200 bucks, you wanna make sure you're keeping a close eye on this thing. Oh, oh got one, got one, got one. Oh my gosh. Gosh, Weston. Oh, it's big. Pretty big. Oh gosh, that was like not long after it hit the water. It oh here. my god. <laughs> okay, he came up and munched it at the surface. Doubled up? No way. No way. Oh, that's that awkward. just happened. Y'all, the icing on the cake. We caught one on the new 86 swim bait. All the details are going to be in the description, you guys. I know it's sold out, but in case you want to know what this guy is, I'm going to have it all down there for y'all. Look at this fish right here. Nice, healthy bass in the boat. Probably the new PB for the John boat. In fact, let's go ahead and put it on the scale. Anything over four is going to take the cake for sure, but I would say even three and a half is the new boat's PB. Nice. Fish is right at three and a half pounds. Solid fish in the boat on the new 86, man. How sick is that? Wrapping up the best day we've ever had on the John boat as far as the size goes. We caught some numbers too. We're back here in the reeds trying to make things happen. And this is a good closer right here, y'all. We got a couple pictures with her. We're gonna go ahead and get her back in the water and wrap things up. And that is why you see we've got that swim bait addiction, guys. Sometimes it pays to go ahead and grab one of these big baits. Look, it's already got some bite marks. That's absolutely epic. Do not be afraid to grab some big baits on a budget, right? There's things like the Mike Buka Bull Shad, which is maybe 50 bucks. Going cheaper than that is the Jackal Gantrell. I love the junior size. If you're just getting started out in some big hard body swim baits, there's a lot of great options out there to build your confidence in this big stuff that those fish are honestly eating day in and day out. When fishing these bigger swim baits, you're not necessarily going for numbers, but those bites are so much more rewarding and oftentimes it's going to be those bigger fish and of course it was the biggest fish of the day so there you have it we decided to come work this back pocket even though we haven't been finding many fish in the shallows today because as soon as we saw those fry out there i said okay i bet you these bass are just post spawn and they're going to be aggressive and they're going to be protecting their young and so i was trying to work it just around all the edges where maybe the beds would be and there's potential for those fry to be swimming around that might have been what got this one's attention because literally it came up at the surface, almost hit it like a top water right after it hit the water. So crazy. Doubled up with Devin, but hers wasn't exactly the caliber she was hoping for to match the size we caught on the 86 right here. But what a crazy bait, man. It's kind of got a tight, a tight wobble and swim. It's much different than some of those other big swim baits we've thrown and uh, I'm digging it. And I'm gonna leave you guys with this. By no means was that a monster bass, right? Three and a half pounder, you guys are probably like, well, you got way too excited over that fish. No, I'm excited about catching a fish on a brand new bait. It's so rewarding when you throw those big swim baits and it pays off. We missed one out there, and a three and a half is a great sizable bass, but the thing is, this guy, 
is gonna catch you those fives. Well, I can, he's stuck to the carpet. This guy's gonna catch you those fives though. He's gonna get you sixes, sevens. There's potential for those double digits on this big stuff right here. You have huge potential for a giant who's seen a lot of different baits when you throw something different like a big swim bait, so. We're excited for what, the, what kind of fish yeah. these, this bait's gonna bring in. We're definitely excited for what kind of fish this bait's gonna bring in, but now, y'all, it is time for Devin and I to wrap things up. We're gonna put the John boat back on the trailer. We're celebrating with dinner tonight our 100,000 follower achievement on Instagram. Thank you guys so much if you're following us over there. If not, check out the Instagram page. Link is in the description. Let's go ahead and load up. <laughs> Saucy swim. Oh, we're just gonna put you right back in there. Oh, I just saw that fish come up and got it. Really? That was cool. You have a fish on right yep. now? Oh, wow. Yeah, Ooh. I saw that thing's belly. Come it's here. Right now, huh? Yeah, they're kind I of about to swim bait. Like maybe, maybe. Mm-mm, not really. <gasps> <laughs> it's more about my phone. Will you grab this Where's rod for me? <laughs> you got the rod. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? Oh, the GoPro is probably going to be fucked up. No, it's fine. SD card error. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what I meant. Let's take that out. Well, let's try and save all the footage from today. <laughs> take that SD card out. It probably wasn't the worst rod to lose if. <laughs> Yeah, that was a cheap one. I didn't even like in the moment know what rod and reel I was holding. I'm like, that's probably freaking expensive. <laughs> it was like the cheap Daiwa and the green rod. And I totally just went in. I, I probably didn't need to like dive in there for it. But dude, Torrance recently lost like a $600 combo. Fisherman Dad Jimmy just lost like a $500 combo the other day. Ryan Rigg was trying to help him get it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so I went straight overboard, grabbed that thing, soaking wet head to toe but at least I got all the electronics out of my pocket. I assume if you guys have watched this far into the video, the footage is fine, uh, but who knows? It's on this SD card, which is now drying. And uh, I got the power bank out of the water, the phone. Uh, first time the iPhone's been in the water, hopefully the last, but you know, who knows? And yeah, I think the safest bet is to just take the battery out of the GoPro and just let it air dry from here. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But yeah, Devin and I were just trying to close out strong and uh, switch things up. We're both throwing mission fishes. This is by 3 16th, seven inch. You work it almost like a Texas rig. Uh, one of the United States biggest bass, Dottie, was caught on this guy right here. So mission fish by 316, thing's absolutely sick. You text pose the hook and uh, it's, a, it's a beast of a bait. We're gonna try and fish just a little bit more. Might as well, now that we're already soaking wet, work this bank line and that will be it. Yeah, so I blame that on that $60 reel. I think when I hit the spool release, it like didn't open the spool, so it was like tight. And when I went to go cast, all the weight of the mission fish like took the rod out of my hand and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> it happens fast, man. You gotta be ready. And these rods disappear. They fall down in the water so fast. I'm like, no. Anyways, if I get any more catches before we get off the water, it'll be on this camera. All right, y'all, what an entertaining video today. We have made it back bank side. We had the best day of fishing ever on the John boat. We fished the 86 bait and caught our first one on that thing. Absolutely crazy. Thank you so much for sticking around. Drop a like on this bad boy. Share it with a friend you know who would be interested in some awesome fishing and outdoors content. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out.